before I fly, like my, my anticipatory anxiety has gotten less. But um, one thing I think that's helped me is I write down my whole trip backwards. So I can't freak myself out. Like I've already landed when I start. I'll go from like landing, walking, you know, getting my bag, um, walking off the plane like that all the way back to the start. Because then if I start to, you know, be like, oh my gosh, something happened to the plane, whatever. It's like, no, 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 no. You've already landed. You've had a good flight. So, so like I do that all the way back to uh, packing, like the further back I go, the better it is. And the, the less anxiety I have. That is really helpful. But here's something else. Try starting linking tonight when you get into bed, break it down, get into bed tonight, picture what it feels like to hit the pillow, um, link, okay, then picture what it happens when you wake up tomorrow morning, link, you're brushing your teeth, link, you're having breakfast and your coffee, link, you're getting in your car or taxi or Uber or whatever to the airport, link, so start further back than getting arriving at the airport. Absolutely. I found that so helpful because then that anticipatory ang uh, anxiety was included in the linking. I know when I had severe anxiety about flying, I didn't want to pack. <laughs> I would pack, I would just throw things in the suitcase at midnight because I couldn't stand to pack. It scared me to pack. So. You know, I, man, it's a wonder I even ever had any clothes when I went on a trip because <laughs> I, I was too scared to pack. So um, any, and I, you know, actually once I left my suitcase sitting in the kitchen floor because I was so anxious, I forgot to bring it with me. If you start the linking early, like, you know, it, it, that helped me so much. Then in the morning when it was actually happening, you know, getting up, having the coffee, feeling what the kitchen felt like, usually in the dark, because I us usually fly really early because I'm in the West of the United States. So picturing like what that, you know, the kitchen feels like it's dark, like, you know, having my coffee link, um, you know, going out the door, getting in the garage, getting in the car. Um, super helpful. I don't know if any of you, have you, have you tried any of you else tried that? That's, that's uh, what I do. Uh, I, yeah, I go way back. I have a, a friend of mine who's a pilot. He's now retired because Qantas has retired all of its A380s. And he was a Qantas A380 captain the night before every flight. And he would lie in bed and he'd go through a series of emergency procedures in his head lying on his pillow with his hand going overhead as if he was touching the various controls and going through in his head a series of planned maneuvers that he knew in a lifetime of flying he was probably never going to need but it gave him peace of mind that he knew these procedures backwards and forwards and upside down built it into his unconscious procedural memory yeah so that when he yeah. was in that situation even if he was really revved up, maybe even overwhelmed, he could trust his unconscious procedural memory to kick in and take him through. His procedural memory. Yeah, I'd rather use that than unconscious. But, but, the, but the added effect of having the, the face voice touch of that non-judgmental person linked to each of those procedures for somebody like me, um, that's the beauty is, is the linking 